Hello all, welcome back to Tech Capture. So in this our playlist Learn ADK which is a Google Agent Development Kit. We are going to discuss about the ADK with a function tool. So in our previous videos we created our first ADK agent then we created the ADK agent with the tools then we discussed about the different types of tools how tools work. We talk about the inbuilt tools like BigQuery and Google search. Then we also created our ADK agent with the third party tools using the Langchain Wikipedia tools. Then we also use the Crew AI web scrapping tool. So we discussed about all these third party and built in tools. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the third types of tool that is the function tools. So using this function, we can write a piece of code, let's say in Python or Java, and we can interact with any third party source system or we can just execute any piece of code. So I'm just doing the hands on in this video along with one specific use case. So what we are going to do in this video, so we'll creating one ADK agent and we'll creating a two tools here. One is to create a GitHub repo and another to delete the GitHub repo. So based on the user prompt, it will go to the respective tool. Let's say if user are asking about creating the repository, then intelligently it will decide, okay, user is asking about this create GitHub repo tool and it will ask a required parameters. If user is asking about the deleting the GitHub repository, then it will ask the required parameter and based on the given parameter, it will invoke the GitHub APIs and it will con call github apis and either create a github repository or it will delete the repository so we'll not go to the github console it will directly create uh, what we can say a github repository or delete github repository from your agent now i am in my vs code and you can see we are having multiple agents here we discussed about bigquery agent qa agent and then langchain agent or first agent. Now in this video, we are going to talk about the function tools and this agent will create or delete our GitHub repository. So here you can see I created a GitHub tools to GitHub function. One is a create a GitHub repository. It is accept accepting the three parameters, repo name, descriptions, and if it is a private repository, true or false as a parameter, okay? So this is just calling API and creating the github repository there is another function is a delete github repository so it is just taking the repository name as a parameter and it is deleting the github repository okay so now you can see here so this is my root agent so i have given the instruction if user want to create repository ask user for the repo details that is name descriptions and private or public repository if user want to delete repository ask user the repo name because that is only parameter used for the deletion function and intelligently it will call either of these tool either github repo delete or a create repo okay so this is a small agent we have created so i have just used the dot env files and i have given the my github personal access token it is required to perform the operations so this this tokens are already deleted and i will delete the required tokens as well so don't try to use it if you feel okay i'm exposing the token but i am i'm not exposing this token so this is token is already deleted and i will use whatever i used in this project i will delete that as well okay now let's see how this works in actions so let me just run my agent and try to create a repository let's first do adk web and i will show you the repositories currently so currently you can see the latest repository is my new cloud project repository so i will just create one more repository from our agent okay Okay, so agent is running. Let's just open. So we want to go with the function tool, which is our uh, GitHub agent. So let's try to say start with conversation with hello. Okay, now you can see hello. How can I help you with GitHub repositories today? You can create or delete repository. I'll say I want to create a github repository now i'm purposefully giving half information i haven't given the repository name descriptions or i haven't specified i want to create private or public repository then it will intelligently ask me okay give me the repository name or descriptions or the private or public repository okay now you can see sure i can help you with that 
what is the name of repository you want to create also would you like to add description finally you want to repository to be private or public now i will give the details i can just give let's say repository name adk demo and the description i can just give testing with adk and i need private repository okay so i am just giving these details now let's see it should call the create repository tool intelligently now so you can see the trace here okay now it is asking the confirmation i'll just mention yes that is correct so it called a function now or we can call it tool it got the response I have created repository for you okay let's let's try to reload see adk demo is created so it it worked perfectly fine and you can see all the logs here as well so now let's try to delete the same repository so adk demo okay i'll just ask i want to delete a repository now oh, the name it is asking adk demo so i'll just give the same repository name adk demo which i want to delete and let's see the response okay it is asking for the confirmation this action is irreversible because we haven't specific we have specified the prompt that okay before deleting just confirm confirm with the users okay so if i go down always confirm with the user before deleting this repository as this action is irreversible okay so this is why this is the reason it is asking for the confirmation so let's confirm you can just type yes or yes i confirm see now it is getting the response from the delete tool okay so this is call from llm to a github repo and this call is from your tools or repository to your llm and llm will summarize answer that deleted deleted the repository so let me just reload and check so this should be disappeared as this is deleted now see this is deleted so hope you understood now how we can work with the uh, function tools you can write any function you can interact with any system once you understood how to work with the function tools so that's it for this video and we'll see you again uh, amazing videos on adk in this playlist so thank you and we'll see you again in our next videos